So the second new camera at NAB this year is our Blackmagic Cinema Camera 4K. The first thing that most people will notice over my shoulder is that um, the body is identical to that of the existing Blackmagic Cinema Camera. This means that you can use all those accessories that have been provided already, um, but what it also means as well is that you've got a form factor there which is, is, is very familiar. On the front of the camera we actually got an EF mount, so this is using again all of those existing Canon lenses and Zeiss lenses. Um, the great thing is there's a lot of low cost lenses but at very high quality. Um, so this means you can take this out with a DSLR or you can take this out with our existing camera and you can interchange all of those lenses. But probably the main bit of information that a lot of people are looking at is well what's that sensor size? And um, what we've done is we've made this a super 35mm sensor. But also in that as well we've got a global shutter. So that means it's some of the motion issues that you may get with, a, with, with not having a global shutter now disappear. The thing is with the Super, the super 35mm sensor is that the sensor is so large that you couldn't use a micro four thirds mount on there. Um, so at the moment we, we, we're just planning that this is going to be EF. Um, again, like I said before, we've got a lot of good choice lenses out there um, on EF and I think the general feedback from customers that we've had on shipping the other camera is the actual EF lenses you know, are, are pretty good. One other thing just to mention on this camera as well, obviously, is that when you look at a super 35mm sensor, you're also, you're also reducing the crop factor quite significantly. So when you're working with wide angle lenses, you're going to get much wider lens, much wider angle than you would do on than, than maybe micro four thirds um, sort of mount. On the back of the camera, we've got all the same functions and functionality that, that were there before. It's all touch screen, so we can navigate through the back of the unit by literally stepping through. Um, we've got all of our metadata which is recorded in the camera so we can take all of that metadata and we can actually take that into an NLE and we can bring all the information along. Um, we've got auto iris controls, we've got focus controls. Um, but also as well, one of the nice things with this as well is that you're shooting in ProRes 4K um, or you're actually shooting in lossless cinema DNG again. So this is a maximum of 30 frame rates. All the connectors are the same except on the SDI of this we've got 6 gig, 6 gig SDI on the output. So that means that you can now deliver true um, Ultra HD out over that SDI. Um, the nice thing again with this camera is when you turn the overlays off, it'll actually output again 1080i. This is true 4K for 4K. This product is $3,995 um, and we should be shipping this around about July time. So the 2.5K camera has now been shipping in thousands. We've got a lot of those out in the market. We've done a couple of updates already by including things like time lapse on there. That was a, that was a key bit of information. Also with some menu settings on the back to be able to see you know, things like what iris settings you're working at. Um, those are the main updates at this moment in time. Um, we're going to continue to obviously add more and more software into each of these cameras. The nice thing is, is that the mechanics of the cameras are very similar, the menus are very similar. So as we do progressive updates on, on, on one camera, we should hopefully be able to do that across all of those cameras.